Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at Jazzwares Halo Infinite Series 118 scale 3 pack. This 3 pack is a Target exclusive and it retails for $29.99. In this set, you get two Vars, a Master Chief, and a Hyperius. And this is the packaging that it comes in. Top left, we have the Halo logo. Bottom left, we have Master Chief. Bottom right, we have the Recommend ages 8 and above. There's 10 pieces in this set. The Halo Infinite logo. And at the bottom we have the nameplate for the three characters. Very, very cool. Top of the packaging we just have the Halo with the green all the way across. The bottom of the packaging we have the Halo. Of the information, some other information there. There's UPC. If that helps you to find this uh, set at Target. Not much to see on the sides besides the UNSC logo, uh, the Halo Infinite series, and UNSC there. On this side we have the UNSC logo and Halo and Halo Infinite series on the bottom. On the back of the packaging we have the Halo New World of Halo scale at the top and then we have here we have the six figures that are going to be in wave three I believe these two are the uh, two two packs and then we have two new vehicles the gun goose and his cannon very very cool now what's interesting on the back of this packaging is that let's take a look at the Vars here you can get him in his three pack and you can get him in a two pack but in the two pack it looks like he has a two tone gray um, weapon and that weapon I believe was called the scrap cannon and in this set you get the dark gray and the chrome or silver really bright silverish versus that so if you don't want this set and then you could get the two pack or master chief and uh, get a different um, weapon color now what's interesting about this set is you get the cloaked Master Chief. Um, I think he's the only way to get him currently. It would be in his three pack. So, but if you bought this, you're going to get another same Master Chief that you, we've already had several releases of. And if you didn't also wanted to get uh, this three pack, you could get the other character also in the single pack, which would be uh, you know like nine ninety nine for retail price. He would be actually be uh, for sale also as a single carded high period figure. So you do have options in, in buying this set. You can get the two characters in two different ways. But as of right now, the Master Cloak Master Chief is only available in a three pack. Either way, it's the same price. So you're going to pay ten bucks for individual figures and probably twenty bucks for the two pack. So you pay thirty bucks, you get both figures and the exclusive. Cloak Master Chief. So let's go ahead and take a look at these figures outside the packaging. Okay, so let's start off by taking a look at Tovaris. Very, very cool. So let's take a look at that head sculpt. Very cool. We have a red beard. We have a horned helmet. with some red paint on the helmet. Very cool. On both sides. On the back is kind of cut at the bottom. And at the top of the helmet is cut off for his mohawk. It's a very cool helmet. I do like those spike looking, Loki looking things. So we can take the helmet off and we have a nice head sculpt. We have the brute face, the yellow eyes, red beard, red mohawk is awesome. Very, very cool. Then we have some basically black armor. We have uh, black uh, chest plates with red paint, shoulder pads are spiky, red paint on a, for decals. We have uh, gauntlets with the red paint also. And then we have his gray hands. It's like he has half cut off finger gloves. We have um, some side devices here on his legs. Spiky knee pads, and we have shin armor, 
cab armor and his toes. So it's, it's basically a very nice figure. This is a lot of plastic. This is very, very heavy. So let's take a look at the articulation here. Um, it's not much for the head because his beard kind of hits his armor. You can turn it about that far without forcing anything that far. There's not really much down enough, but if you look on the side here, there is a pin there for it. It just doesn't allow you. Arms go 360 all the way around. Looks very good. They go up about that much until the armor goes over his top of his shoulders. Bendable elbows. We can bring them in. We do not get 90 degrees on the uh, bend, but there is a 360 turn. The hands turn 360. And we have the in and out on the hands. Looks pretty good. Um, it looks like there might be some. Yeah, there's rotation here 360. No side to side or front and back. I mean, sits really well. For a big guy, we have uh, some thigh rotation, double joint knees, and the feet. I want to like this. I want to slide this way. See, there's a hinge right there, so you can slide them forward, slide them back, and of course, you know, 360. I believe all the way around. Yeah, if you want to force it, it's there. It's just real tight, and I don't want to break it. This is a lot of plastic. This is a very cool figure. You get three figures for 30 bucks, basically $10 a figure. I mean, this is a Hulk size figure. Very, very cool. Let's put his helmet back on. Take another look before we move on. Very nice, a lot of plastic. There's a lot actually sculpt work for the overall um, Aesthetics. Very cool figure. Very nice. You can't be, I mean, I've always been an advocate for these figures because of the price. And what you get for the price, the articulation and the price. It's just incredible. So for his weapon, we have the, uh, what do they call this thing? Let's take a look on the box real quick. I keep forgetting the scrap cannon. This is huge. Look how big this thing is lot of sculpt work we have gray basically base then we have these silverish cornish um armor on the outside now uh, this is very soft plastic on this part this is kind of hard but these are softer plastic you can see how they're like just attached there very cool so it's kind of bent a little bit kind of have an indent there it's not a full hole but it's pretty wild. Handle here, handle here. Very hard plastic. Just to just silver stuff is a softer plastic. Let's see how well he holds it. It kind of holds it very well. I mean, for what it's worth, I mean, it's a huge weapon. It's going to be one of those low riding weapons. Very decent. I can see if you hold it standing up. Kind of, there's a lot of plastic to get to stand. There we go. He can stand pretty good. It's got to get to the right angle. All right, let's take a look at the cloaked Master Chief. Kind of looks like the same Master Chief we've been getting. It's just a um, clear baby blue plastic. This would be perfect for. You know, if you wanted a strict piece to do a custom, you buy these, you can create your own color pattern Spartan or custom Master Chief. These look the same as the ones we've been getting, for, so for comparisons. Here's the one that came with the, um, the Mongoose, which is pretty much the same Master Chief has been released. Um, and even the single cards are the same figures. But they're exactly the same. We take a look at the articulation. Head goes down, head goes up. 
Um, not much side to side there. We haven't turned it that much, so it hits this back piece. Arms rotate 360. Bendable elbows. And then we have, we don't have 90, but almost. We have rotation here at the elbow, 360, rotation at the wrist, 360. Then we have in and out on both hands. Then we have a bit side to side articulation here, here, forward, forward and back. Sits like a champ. Thigh rotation, splits, very good. Double joint knees. For his feet, they do go down and they go up and 360 all the way around. So pretty good articulation for this figure. So this is your cloaked Master Chief. Very, very cool. And we'll bring in Master Chief to for, for comparisons for now. So it does come with his weapon. It's an assault rifle. Also done in the same translucent baby blue plastic. Has a little pin there. So you can put it on his back because there's a peg hole on his back. Can't see. Hold on one second. There we go. Looks good. Here he's holding his weapon. Looks really cool. Alright, so that is your cloaked version of Master Chief. Looks very good. Alright, so let's take a look at Hyperius. Very, very nice. Um, pretty much a lot of the same parts used over again. Again, a lot of plastic. This is a hefty figure. Start by taking a look at the head sculpt. He has the red helmet with the gray jaw. Kind of looks like the, uh, was it the Berserker Predator from Predator's movie? It's this piece here. Very cool. And you can see have a big old gaping hole in the back. So if I remove his helmet, gray skin yellow eyes, it's pretty good. And I'm not going to go over the articulation for this guy because he's pretty much the same as the other. But I will do his head because he has a he doesn't have that beard. So side to side. And can go down a little bit. And up a little bit. Not much. And the shoulder pad here is pretty much the same. You're not going to get much for arm raised. Speaking for the shoulder pad, look at that. We have the red spikes, but we have a, like a Spartan helmet that has been smashed into his shoulder pad. Pretty cool. Nice gauntlets. Have some gray features there. The chest plate, red, some green necklace, green, I don't know what that is, kind of pouches maybe. Same for this armor. On this shoulder pad, we have uh, multiple pads stacked on top of each other. Here on his thigh, some kind of baby bone strapped, I say strapped on. On this uh, knee, the shin guard, we have some red spikes. This one's different. Kind of think there's a lost opportunity here. I don't like how this is just all gray. If that's supposed to be just a leg, they should have maybe re sculpted a new piece because they got these straps on there. This should be really painted and on this leg also on the inside. But overall, we have some calf cards, I guess, in his feet. So, this is a very nice figure for 10 bucks. These brutes are a great value. Very nice. So, let's go ahead and take a look at his weapon. So what we have his weapon is the Ravenger. 
Oh, great. This is a uh, harder plastic. We have a pig there. Bleed on the front. Just a little bit of maybe red. We just have some kind of fuel cells, maybe. Very cool. See why he, how well he holds it. I can kind of get it mostly in his hand. Um, because I hate these bars when he made these designs. It's like more and more figures are coming like that. It's kind of irritating. It gets very difficult to get the fingers inside there and then the thumb. But it's doable. But I keep messing around with it. And I'm worried about breaking it right now. So, But you can get it. So he can hold it. And that's how it would look once you get a hold. His hands on, uh, on hold of the uh, handle there. Wouldn't be too bad. Um, so let's take a look at his jetpack. I have a jetpack here. It's all gray. Already no paint. There is some... Some silver dry brushing on there a little bit, not much. These are very flint, flintable plastic. This is very hard, but these are very soft. Two types of grades of plastic, and this piece is why there is a gaping hole in his back. So that's how that looks. Uh, yep, looks good. Alright, so I played with it a little more and I was able to get pretty much in his hand. It is a very difficult task without putting too much stress on, you know, a lot of pieces. So that's how it looks now. So he can hold it. So it's not bad. So there he is. And here's his buddy. <laughs> this guy. I would see why Master Chief has to be cloaked just to get away from these guys because they they really tower over Master Chief. The other thing you get in this set too is three stands. You get grassy one, a rock one, grass and dirt one, which is pretty good. And of course they all connect together. You want to connect them. And if you get enough of these, you can create yourself a whole battle plane. If you would like. Or if you guys enjoyed the look at these uh, new Halo figures. Um, like I said, these are $29.99 at Target. And they're Target exclusive. So, uh, well worth it. Highly recommend them. Lots of plastic. Lots of articulation. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, please just give these videos a thumbs up so you let YouTube know that you know, you like these videos. Um, and we'll see you in our next review. Take care.